boys, I'm recording up here today because I gotta get this video out quick and I'm not under NDA. The 14900K here. Now, obviously, we don't have time to do like 50 games or even 10 games like I normally do because I wanna get this video out as soon as possible before people are able to purchase it. But we don't have to test that many games because basically my theory is, is that this chip is just a 13900KS refresh. So the goal of this video is to find out if it is just a refresh. So today's video is gonna be 14900K versus 13900KS. We're gonna check the memory controller, which is what everyone is, everyone wants to know, right? We're gonna check the IPC, and we're gonna check the silicon quality of the cores themselves to see how much voltage they need to hit a certain frequency. And then we can just run like a rift breaker or a fire strike if there is some meaningful difference between the two. And just so there's no shenanigans, because last time I did it remotely with a subscriber of mine, and everyone was like, oh, this guy's information is all wrong. Okay, I actually have one myself this time. All right, it's legit. Happened in my hand. So no more whining this time. Okay, so first, I'm going to go throw this CPU in a Z790 Apex. I don't have the new one, it's just the old white one, but it should do very well for the purposes of this video but let's go throw it in there run some basic diagnostics and see what this thing does out of the box we've got to use apex thermal paste on an apex motherboard to get apex performance all right let's turn it on well it detects it that's nice come on yeah oh yeah oh yeah Okay, let's see what kind of SP I got here. I don't even know what this means, 100. Let's go to uh, AI features. What's the P core? 11375. Uh, I don't know what this means, but we're gonna find out. Okay, let's, let's just enable XMP to start off with 7600, save exit. Actually, you know what? Let's also get the memory controller SP. Even though I don't like this one, um, it's a pretty, pretty useless uh, silicon predictor, I want to say. There's too many variables that affect the score. But I'm just curious to see what comes up. All right, let's see what we got here. 84. Yeah, I think that's the exact same as a 13900KS. Yeah, I think actually mine's 84 on my other one, to be to be honest. So again, again, this number means absolutely nothing, but hey, for those of you Reddit nerds that like these kind of SP numbers, there you go. Okay, so even, uh, even under Ida here, under code name, it actually shows Raptor Lake S. So it doesn't even say like Raptor Lake refresh, right? It's basically the exact same chip. Let's run OCCT first and see what clock speeds this thing runs out of the box and what voltages? Okay, let's go. Frequency. So we got four, four, and five, seven. So E cores are the same. Four, five. So the ring is the same. So the only difference is this one runs at 5.7 gigahertz out of the box. Um on the P cores and voltage. That's a pretty good voltage. That's about the same. We'll check that after, but that's basically about the same as my 1300 KS. Okay, so I'm checking out the voltages here. SA 1.3, VDDQ 1.4, and then uh, where's VDD2? Oh, here. 1.4 so it's using for the 7600 kit so it's using the exact same xmp profiles as a 13900k as well so unless they improve the memory controller significantly you're going to run into the exact same xmp issues on 14th gen okay so what we're going to do first i'm going to go disable the e cores now and then i'm going to overclock the memory to 8000 megahertz and then we're gonna compare the IPC of this one to a 13900KS. 
So it does look like the silicon quality is quite good. I'm just running a memory stress test right now at 8,000 quickly just to make sure it's somewhat stable, right? And if I locked the cores at 5.7 and we're only using 1.25 volts and 150 watts, right? So it's pretty good, it's pretty good. But let's bench the CPU. Sitting at 5.7 locked. Right, so we got 933.5 on the single thread here. Let's do Cinebench just to confirm. Okay, so for IPC, we have 865 points on the single and 933 on CPU-Z, 14900K. Okay, let's check the other one. And the scores for the 13900KS here, uh, 864, so that one is exactly the same. That's identical. 932, that's one point less, so identical margin of error. Okay, so I locked the cores at 5.8 and I left the voltages on auto. The only thing I don't understand here is it seems like... I'm not sure if it's Asus doing this or Intel, but it seems like they're running a negative offset voltage or something here because the VID and the CPU core should be the same, right? But alas, let's uh, let's see if it let's see if it works if you punch in five eight and do nothing else. Let's start. Uh, yeah, one point two seven volts. That's really low. CPU package, 220. Oh no, it erred. See, what the hell? So yeah, it's running way too low of a volt. Or it's trying to run way too low of a voltage for this. I don't know why. So what I'm going to do then, I'm going to go offset mode plus 0. Point, what was it? 1.21 volts? Yeah, I'm going to do 0. 005 that's how much voltage I think we might need. Let's go save exit here. All right, see, there we go. Now she's shoving some voltage, right? 1.4, so let's hit start. I know the load line must be, here we go, 1.25. That should work at 5.8, 240 watts. That's pretty good, man. That's, um. She's running quite cool for 280 watts, 240 watts. Yeah, that's not bad, man. Keep in mind, um, it's not delitted or anything, right? So that's like, you can do this on a 13900KS, but you kind of really have to delit it to get that far. So this is, I guess, I guess the cores, yeah, 100 megahertz better on the cores, I suppose. All right, so I locked them at 5.9. I kept the same offset at 0.5 over. Start. Oh yeah, 250, 85. Yeah, that's impressive, man, 5.9. 1.27 volts. Yeah, this is, this is running almost exactly 100 megahertz better than my 13900KS. I would say this could be a good bin. I have no idea as well, right? So it looks like you're getting about a hundred megahertz more than a KS on this one from my preliminary findings. Power draw, basically the exact same. So we do 5,900 divided by 5,800, uh, 2%, 2%. Yeah, you get 2% clock speed. Okay, so let's try 5.8 on the 13900KS. Start. So much power, 260. Yeah, so it does pull a bit more power, but it's using a bunch more voltage, right? Okay, so we were running 1.27 volts on the 14900K. So let's see if we can do the same thing on a 13900KS here. And then if it crashes, that means the 14900K does have a better bin. Okay, let's try this again, start. So now we're at, there we go, 1.27. Okay, 240 watts. Okay, so we're right, we're right in line now. But the 14900K was at 5.9 gigahertz. 
So let's see if this will work now. Okay, let's hit start. And it bumped the voltage up a little bit, 1.9, 2.9 now, 5.9. So we gotta go even more offset. I saw, I'd be surprised if this actually worked now. So let's try this, apply. Okay, let's try this again. 5.9 on a KS, start. 1.279, 200, oh, it froze, there it is. So, okay, all right, so the 14900K is 100 megahertz better at the same voltage. Okay, well, there you go. Okay, so you get 100 megahertz at the same power draw and at the same voltage. So you could consider that more efficient, I guess, because we were able to run 5.8 gigahertz without delitting the CPU at a very low voltage, right? So that is something. Now, let's go push the memory controller. But before that, this video was brought to you by the supporters of the channel. I had to pay a thousand Canadian dollars to get this CPU early, to get this information out to you guys before everybody else does. That is the benefit of being a self-funded, supporter-backed, COD-bro-backed channel. No sponsorships, no NDAs, no talking points, no samples, only journalistic integrity. So if you are able and you believe in the vision here at Frame Chasers, head on over to framechasers.org, become a supporter, get access to the Discord, where all this information gets to those guys early. People in my community do not make purchasing mistakes because they get all the real data. Nobody likes making a mistake, especially when you put your faith in the wrong tech tuber. Well, I guess I'm not getting 8200 working, so that's very, very disappointing. Okay, so I actually got it to post at 82. It took a little bit of finagling. Um, like, so basically what I'm going to say is since I already have to start doing FAFO with um, the voltage sweet spots of the three voltages, I can't see, I can't see it going higher than this. I don't even know if this is stable, to be honest, but I've just, I've done enough 13900 KS consults that I can kind of get to the sweet spot very, very, very quickly. So let's try 8400 and see what happens. No, see, it just aired as I just said that. See, so it's definitely not going to do 8400. So I have to spend probably all day getting this stable at 8200, right? That's like a, that's like a 24 hour job to get that stable at 8200. Just trying to find micro sweet spots on the voltages. So IMC is not any better. Okay, yeah, I just aired at uh, the, four, the 14 minute mark here. So this 14900K, the memory, the memory controller on this one is worse than my memory controller on my 13900KS over there. I 100% called that. 100%. All you motherfuckers in the Discord and saying, no, Drewfist is going to have a better memory controller. And then I was like, I don't know, man. It might even have a worse memory controller because it's not a KS. And I fucking called it. That being said, I don't even know if you're guaranteed to hit 8,000 with these things. This is, I only have one cpu right i haven't done a bunch of consults with them yet um i'll do a video in the future with like some bidding statistics eventually once the consults start rolling in but for now the memory controller is at best the exact same at worst not binned so the memory controller is the exact same zero improvement Okay, so this one did 41932, and then this one did 42177. Now, that, that doesn't mean that this one is faster by any means. Uh, all that means is just margin of error from run to run based on what Windows processes are running in the background. Long story short, it doesn't matter. There's no difference. That 100 megahertz does nothing. 
Okay, so 14900K, we got 297 and 208 in Rift Breaker. So I actually had to install the 4090 on this machine because we were GPU bound with a 7900 XTX. Anyway, so now with a 13900KS, we're at 296 and 214. So margin of error. So even with the 100 megahertz on the 14900K, zero FPS difference zero in fact if i was using 8200 megahertz or 8400 megahertz on my 13900 ks this one would be faster because of the memory speed so if you already have a 13900 ks with a really good memory controller i would maybe hold off so after all the testing done today the only difference between a 14900 k and a 13900KS is 100 megahertz at the same voltage and power. Now, I know for you COD bros, that is going to be enough to go out and buy it. I will leave an affiliate link down below to purchase the 14900K. If you want to support the channel, please use the link down below so that I can bring more early access testing before NDAs for you guys. Now, for those of you that need the maximum performance, no matter what, you don't care, you want a 14900K, you want all the things, I will have pre-tuned 8000 megahertz bundles with 14900Ks delitted installed on my website. I'm just waiting for Apex and Tachyon boards to come in stock, but when they are, you will see an inventory over there. It's another great way to support the channel. You get all of my overclocking expertise in a one-stop shop bundle delivered to you. Anyway, guys, don't forget to subscribe. I will be testing the new Apex and Tachyon boards as soon as they are available to see if they are worth buying as well. And I'm also going to be testing some new ITX versions as well to see if those are cheaper alternatives. Anyway, guys, if you like the content, hit that subscribe button. Do all that YouTube SEO stuff. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below if you're disappointed with the 14900K or if this is exactly what you thought or if you believed all the leakers and Redditors yet again, and were proven wrong yet again, and Jufus was right yet again. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you later. No, Jufus, but, but, but the memory controller, but the memory controller.